right? So first heart sound is produced by the closure of both the tricuspid and mitral valve. And second heart sound is produced due to the closure of aortic and pulmonic valve during the beginning of isovolumetric relaxation. And the third heart sound is heard during the rapid ventricular filling. There are two phases. In the first phase of ventricular filling, that is called rapid ventricular filling, the blood gushes into the left ventricle from the head ray produces S3 heart sound, that is rapid ventricular filling. And the fourth heart sound, here, after filling of uh, atria, after atrial filling with the blood, the 60 to 70 percent of the blood passively rushes into the ventricle, right? So, the rapid rush of blood from the atria into the ventricle, that in the rapid ventricular filling phase, the S3 heart sound is produced. After the rapid ventricular filling, some amount of blood present in the both atria. Right? For example, the 100% of the blood is filled with uh, both atria. In the rapid ventricular filling, only 60 to 70 percent of the blood passively, there is no need of atrial contraction. Remember this point. Without any atrial contraction, without any energy, passively, 